I'm so grateful to be here tonight to hear those wonderful readings on our oneness with God. What such an important point to understand and to live. It was read tonight from Signs and Health. It also happens to be in our lesson. Just a very beautiful passage from Mrs. Eddy on page 381. The one ego, the one mind or spirit called God, is infinite individuality, which supplies all form and comeliness, and which reflects reality and divinity in individual spiritual man and things. I have talked about this before, but many years ago, we were taught here about this passage and its deeper meaning, and it was that we, man, is not God, but God expresses himself through man. And Mrs. Evans was telling this story to us because it was a practitioner that she worked at, with at the time, a, pra a wonderful practitioner who had his office in Manhattan, Mr. Davidson. And anyway, they discussed this passage together. And when she realized what it meant, she said she just went home walking on air. Um, so we can know when we get ourselves out of the way, our personal sense of self, and let God use us, God actually expresses himself through us. That's what it means to demonstrate our oneness with him. And then I thought about the words in, in that passage. Um, our individuality, what makes each one of us special and unique. And form is our visible shape. Many of us fret over these things, our form, our comeliness. Comeliness, symmetry, attractiveness, fairness, loveliness. God is supplying all of this to you. And it reflects reality, our actual being, and our divinity, our holiness. All of these things God is giving us. It's wonderful. And when we're knowing that, we don't need to fret about being it because we just are it. <laughs> I'm so grateful for this beautiful explanation of this passage. It has meant so much to me through the years. I'm grateful for all that I've learned in being a member of this church, and I am still learning. And I'm grateful to be with you all tonight. And have a wonderful evening.